now let's take a look at problem number 10. And um, I'm first going to um, do a little bit of it on the tablet, and then I'm going to switch over and write out the steps. This kind of this problem kind of combines two different two different items together. We got 64 to the negative four thirds power. Well, we never want a negative exponent. We always take an opposite of where it's at in fraction. Um, but this isn't in a fraction. But I can put in a fraction by putting it over one. So 64 to the negative four thirds over one. And then you take the part with the negative in the exponent, opposite of where it's at in a fraction. So I'm going to take that down below, and we get 1 over 64 to the 4 thirds power. Okay. So um, at this point, uh, that's, a, that's the first piece, uh, how to handle negative exponents. Now we have a number to a fractional power where the numerator is greater than 1. So let's take a look how to do that. So evaluating a number a number to a fractional power that's uh, called rational exponent by the way uh, with numerator greater than one step one put the numerator on the outside of a set of parentheses. Step two, rewrite what is inside the parentheses in radical form. Step three, simplify the radical. And step four, simplify what is left. Okay, so let's come over here and continue this problem with those steps. Now our, our first step, now it's the, the one still has to remain up on top, is to take the numerator and put it on the outside of the parentheses. So I'll take the 4 and put it on the outside of the parentheses. When we do that, where it was is we just put a 1. Um, so when you take that and put it outside, that can, that's 1. Now step 2 is rewrite what's inside the parentheses in radical or radical form which would be the cube root of 64. Now I usually like to um, draw arrows here, but I, I separate these too much. Basically, whatever's in your denominator, the 3, is your index. That's why we have 3 here. And since this is 1, then that's just uh, 1 here, which is just, just 64. Well, step 3, simplify the radical. Well, the cube root of 64, 64 I can write as 4 times 4 times 4, like that, which gives us, uh, index is 3, so it means we're looking for a set of 3 of something. Well, here's 3 fours, so that's going to come out as a single 4. So we're going to have 4 to the 4th. And then uh, our last step is to simplify what's left. 4 to the 4th power, 4 times 4 is 16, times another 4 is 64, times another 4 is 256. So we got 1 over 256. Which uh, 1 over 256 would be A. So this would be 10A. And let's check this, the key. Let's see if it's right on there. 10A. Okay. Now let's do this on the calculator. The key to doing this on the calculator, if you're still in, in graph mode, do a second mode to exit out. I'll press clear to clear that out. If you ha ever have more than a single number or single variable up in your exponent, you have to put parentheses around it. So when I put this in my calculator, I'm going to do 64 caret, you always do an exponent with caret, and then we have to put a beginning parentheses and then negative 4 divided by 3. Again, whenever you have more than a single number or a single variable in your exponent, you have to put parentheses around it. And then I'll push enter, and we get a decimal. Uh, whenever you get a decimal on your calculator, if it will change to a fraction, you do it by doing math, enter, enter. So press math, enter, enter. 
and we get our 1 over 256.